Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dominique Lorray. Let's talk about a topic that you guys ask a lot of questions about, and that is what major should you choose to become a medical laboratory professional? I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons of science majors, and this video is mainly to show you the opportunities that are out there for your education. Let's start with the most obvious choice, which is to major in medical laboratory science. This would be the traditional route to go and the easiest and fastest route to certification. With this degree, your studies will be specialized in medical laboratory science and you will be educated in all the areas of the general laboratory to prepare you to become a medical professional. If you are absolutely sure that you want to become a medical laboratory scientist and you really want to go into this career and you're willing to study the discipline for a few years, then go for it. The con, that is like the only con that I found relevant, is that it is a niche major. If you decide that you want to leave the medical laboratory field or leave healthcare in the future, you may not be as prepared to do other jobs in the STEM field. And that's a weak con. Like I feel that laboratory skills are really transferable outside of the medical lab. So it's honestly a matter of how well you can communicate your skills to employers if you decide to pivot to something else later. Biology and chemistry and biochemistry. These are all pretty broad science degrees. You get to study a lot of general areas of life science if you choose biology or chemical science if you choose chemistry. These degrees will teach you a lot of applications in laboratory techniques that can be applied to medical laboratory science and other STEM fields but it's very general. And I'm including this option because there are not a lot of MLS schools out there. So for most people, biology or chemistry might be your only option if you don't live near an MLS program. Just know that biology and chemistry do not cover all of the topics of medical laboratory science in depth. Biology is gonna include classes in ecology and evolution, physiology like zoology and stuff that doesn't pertain to MLS. Chemistry is going to cover classes in inorganic chemistry and whatever else chem studies, I don't really know, but it's not MLS. So the con is that you may not be prepared with theory knowledge to go work in the medical lab field. There will be a learning curve, not to say that you cannot do the job, but you will probably have to self-study if you want to learn the theories. And that is with any major that is not MLS. And this is a relevant point because there's a lot of theory behind these test results. The good thing is that there's always the option to study a post bac in MLS or pursue an MS in MLS as well if you go the STEM route and want to pursue more education after. Honestly, biology or chemistry would be a better choice if you know that you want to pursue graduate school in the future for say a master's or PhD in the life sciences just because you will gain more exposure to research type laboratories that will help prepare you for graduate studies. The big pro to studying biology and chemistry is that you may be better prepared for STEM based jobs outside of the hospital and healthcare. These jobs include state laboratories, research laboratories, and academic laboratories, things of that nature where they are testing way more things outside of patient specimens, if that makes sense. Another science you can consider is microbiology or molecular biology. The great part about these majors is that they are actually specialties of medical laboratory science. So it's a great option if you know that you have an interest for microbiology or molecular diagnostics because it will teach you the laboratory techniques and theories in these specialties which will help when entering the workforce. The other thing that I would like to mention if you do these degrees, people like to say that it will pigeonhole you to microbiology or molecular diagnostics and I don't think that's true. Studying either of these subjects goes hand in hand with infectious disease topics and like cancer biology and like all these other science disciplines just to give you an example so it can prepare you for a job in a laboratory and it can also help you further your studies into medicine or public health later on and in public health i'm not too familiar with a public health degree in itself my opinion is that the degrees we've talked about so far are laboratory related and stem based to take courses in hard science i would think that a pro to studying public health at the very least would help someone maybe go towards public health state labs if you're considering that option. So I guess my only thing would be if you study public health, then I don't know if it's possible, but make sure to find time to take the hard sciences, like the biologies, the chemistries, or maybe minor in biology or chemistry or something related to a lab science, just so that you have that course knowledge there, maybe. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is kind of how I came to this conclusion um, in my route of study and what degrees I decided to do. So I studied a bachelor's of science in biology with a focus in microbiology. I decided to go back to school because I had a goal of working in the microbiology field to some capacity 
And so the hospitals seem to be the most interesting to me. In my state, the easiest way into the field is to go back to school and attend a NACLS approved program to train. In my state, hospitals cannot and usually will not hire uncertified individuals. So I felt like I had no choice but to go back to school if I wanted to work in this field in my state. So here I am now, a graduate of biology and medical laboratory school and a certified medical laboratory scientist working in clinical microbiology. And I wanted to also narrow down all the things and all the other fields that I considered to get me to this conclusion. So my first thought <laughs> was that I wanted a career within healthcare. From a young age, I knew that I wanted a career that related to helping patients in the community in some clinical aspect. I learned in college that I wanted a career that combined STEM with medicine and infectious disease. So I then learned about the world of diagnostics and allied health which aligned a lot with my interest. I was more curious on the etiology, so what's causing these symptoms in patients versus how are we going to treat these symptoms, if that makes sense. So that made me leave nursing out of the equation and I explored different fields in diagnostic medicine. This included the medical laboratory, but also radiology and nuclear medicine. But then I had to consider each diagnostic field's foundational science. Radiology is huge on physics. I hate physics and I hate studying things that I hate. So I do think that I would have been unhappy in the sense of not wanting to finish the course of study. And I know in my videos I joke that I don't like chemistry, but in reality, I absolutely love biochemistry, which is pretty much the foundation in clinical pathology where we analyze body fluids and both biology and chemistry help us understand and relate our findings to body functions, abnormalities, pathophysiology, and stuff going on with the patient. So that led me down the rabbit hole of medical laboratory professions. I did at one point in time highly consider cytology and pathology. I spent a lot of time looking into becoming a cytologist and a pathologist assistant, which I guess could still be an option, but I would have to go back to school again. And at this time, I don't think the debt would be worth it for me because there's mainly just MLS jobs where I live. Cyto and Pathé are few and far in between from what I've noticed, so I would have to move if I decided to pursue that. And like I said, I chose this field as my way of fulfilling my desire to help patients in a community. And in college, I learned that I have a strong skill set for critical thinking and analysis. So I think that all the areas in the field are great, like hematology and blood banking, chemistry, coag. You know, I've gained work experience in all those areas, but I don't really like being a full generalist. That for me, I enjoy microbiology and being able to be the one that identifies what is possibly harming the patient. And that includes a range of infectious agents from bacteria, fungi, parasites, like all of it is just so cool to me. And corny to say, but there has not been a shift that has gone by at work where I don't say, hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> so I do believe that I found a niche that excites me and makes me happy at the end of the day because there's always something new to learn. So basically I chose medical lab science through a lot of self-exploration and learning what makes me happy in the workplace. And keep in mind that everyone enters this field for different reasons. So my why may not be something you even thought mattered, you know? So I just want to emphasize for you guys to ask yourself why. Like, why do you want to enter this field? And maybe that will allow you to discover the best route you should take to get there. So hopefully this video was helpful. I know it was kind of like a brief discussion, but maybe it will just kind of give you other ideas on your route to pursuing medical laboratory science. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, thumbs up. If you have more questions, comment down below and I'll see you guys next time.